Okay, what the heck is this silly thing? It's a plug, a switch, cables on the other side. Cool stuff. Okay. That is a modified sine wave inverter. Goes from 12 volts to 120. Made by Best Tech. Model MRI 20011. Uh, it's got another model number that's upside down there, and they call it a B00 Charlie 83 DEFK. Okay. Uh, it's like many of the modified sine wave inverters out there. This one says it will go to something like 40, what, to, 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 4,600 watts. I don't think it'll do quite that much. We'll see when I go through some of the tests with it. Uh, does this thing do the job? Or what job you want to do, mostly. It does work. I have a series of videos in this thing talking about how it works and making some tests. And... We're simply going to be taking that battery right there, hooking it up to this thing, and trying different loads on it. I'm also going to show you an oscilloscope reading on this thing, and I'll compare it to another type. So uh, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is play with the oscilloscope, and we'll see what happens there. Here I wanted to show... This is a normal sine wave, 120 volt AC, obviously come from the power company, reasonably smooth and so on. I'm going to compare that to the sine wave that comes out of the modified sine inverter. And let's take a look at that. Okay, you can see this is considerably different there's a lot of variations on it. The zero line's right there. Uh, it looks a little goofy. It's not an exact square sine wave, but uh, it's definitely not an AC sine wave either. This is with this newer style power inverter. I'm going to take an older inverter, and it's a cheapy two, and we'll see if there's any difference. Well, you can see it's a little bit different. It has more of a spike on it than the other one does, at least on one side. But generally, it's kind of the same. Uh, so, not a lot of difference between these two. That's an old, old one there. AC Anywhere from Belkin. Same uh, thing made in China. Uh, this one's probably 15 years old. What our concern here is, will they work with electric motors. Motors seem to be the real problem for these things. So we're going to test a few motors and see what happens. Okay, the first thing we're going to test it with is something I know is going to work because that's kind of what these uh, inverters were originally designed for. Uh, a drill motor. Drill motor is a brush motor. Just to make a kind of by the pants comparison, I can still hold it. Let's try it in the inverter. I can hold it either way. Uh, it actually loads the inverter pretty much, but that's what it should do. So they'll work fine with these things. The next one we're going to try is shaded pole. Well, that's an inducer off of a gas furnace. It seems to run fine. It's running 1.11 uh, on amp draw. Let's check it with the uh, inverter. Here we're hooked up to the inverter. Let's see what happens. Okay, it actually works pretty good. I don't see any real problem. It's running almost the same 
amperage it's actually running a little bit lower that's probably because the voltage is a little bit lower so it looks like shaded pole will work okay I have actually tested these shaded pole motors fairly extensively with this thing and I ran one for about six hours and it did not overheat and it ran normally all the time uh, seems like maybe there's a little bit of a lag on startup. Try that again. And try to note the startup time. Yeah, I don't know. Trying with regular power. Yeah, it probably started a little faster. I'm not sure it made a lot of difference. Okay, shaded poles seem to work okay. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try it with a PSC motor and see how it works.